Hello there, welcome to AWS Tech Guide session. Today we will learn how to install Tomcat in AWS EC2. The prerequisites are you should have one AWS free tier account already and PuTTY installed in your system if it is your Windows system. So let's go and install Tomcat in AWS EC2. I'm already logged into my AWS management console. Go to service, search for EC2, click on EC2. I'm simply creating one EC2 instance. Click on run instances. Click on run, launch instance. I'm just selecting this AMI. Selecting T2 micro. And with all default configuration, I'm just clicking on review and launch. Click on launch. I'm selecting my existing key pair. If you want to know how to create key pair, how to convert .pm file to PPK file, or how to launch one EC2 instance in AWS management console, then you can check my past tutorial videos. So I'm clicking on launch instance. Click view instances. And I, as you see that it is being initializing. Now it is showing running. So let's copy this public DNS. I have copied open putty. Copy your public DNS as host name. And since I have this PPK file already configured, so I have just loaded the configuration and just replaced the host name again. So clicking on open again, I'm telling you, if you want to know how to set up this putty configuration and how to connect to EC2 instance, please check my past tutorial on how to connect to EC2. Now click on open, click yes. I'm just making it wider. Okay. Now switch your user to sudo user. Sudo. Perfect. Now our first task is go to Tomcat website and copy the download URL from there. So here I am at Tomcat website. So we'll be installing Tomcat 8. So I'm clicking on Tomcat 8 under download okay scroll down and you get this binary distributions the option tar.zz just right, right click it and click on copy link address it is enough for you to just copy the downloadable binary distribution link now I have consolidated all the required commands to run in a script file. So you can go to my uh, GitHub repository, which is github.com slash AWS take guide slash script. Under my script repository, you will get install tomcat.md and you will get all the required commands for that. So currently we have just copied this URL. So not from here, it is the core tar.zz. Copy this URL and go back to EC2 console and write wget paste this URL. So it has downloaded the binary of Tomcat in our EC2 instance. Just checking whether it has downloaded or not. Yes, it has downloaded. Now we have to extract this. So go to this script and check the extract command is tar dash xvzf. So it will extract your zz file. So I'm just copying it here and Apache. Perfect. It has 
unzipped very nice now to make it simple the folder name i am replacing i am renaming i am renaming it with a smaller folder name suppose tomcat great now let's go inside this tomcat folder go inside bin here you will find startup.sh and shutdown.sh these two are two scripts files to start and shut down your tomcat server but we know that by default tomcat works on 8080 port since we don't have anything installed in this ec2 instance which is running on 8080 we are not changing the port but in ec2 instance in security group we have to allow that 8080 port so let's go back to our aws management console click the ec2 instance click the security group which is created now scroll down and go to this is to inbound click on edit inbound add tcp 8080 for this tutorial purpose i am just making it anywhere but you should not do you should specify the particular ip address or range where your request should come so it, your security group will be more secure okay so clicking on save rules perfect so our security group configuration is done now it is the time to start our tomcat server so just run this script file dot sh click enter and it says tomcat started let's go to our ec2 click on ec2 and copy this ip v4 public ip open a new browser put 8080 because by default it works on 8080 and our apache tomcat has been successfully installed and it started running now let's click on this manager app let's see what happens yes it's showing 403 to fix it let's go back to our ec2 instance and as you see it is saying that if you wish to modify this restriction you will need to edit managers context.xml so let's go back to our ec2 instance and find where is that context.xml so i'm just trying to find find slash dash name context dot xml let's find where it is and it's saying there are few places where this context dot xml exists so i'm copying the first one now let's go to this location to update the context dot xml this putty portal is showing inactive so let's go to your portal copy this public dns once again i'm closing this putty opening one more putty portal just loading the configuration updating with the host name public dns clicking okay yes now we are again connected let's change the user to sudo we have our tomcat folder and let's find the context again okay 
so it is under our meta inf type vi context dot xml click on open click i in your keyboard so it will be in your insert mode and we have to comment this value element portion under context so exclamation dash dash we are just commenting it out yes now save and save is your escape colon wq exclamation enter well we have just updated this context.xml now remember that we have another context.xml in a different location and that we have to update the same way we have just updated this one which is under manager and now we have to update this context xml which is under host manager open vi context.xml and same way we will comment out this value element and we are saving this context.xml by again escape colon w q exclamation enter now we have updated both the context.xml files so let's go back to our tomcat installation and click on manager app now now once we click on manager app it is not showing that 403 forbidden message it is asking for username and password but we have not created any username and password yet so let's go and create the username and password so to create the username and password we have to go back to the console and we have to go inside conf folder so let's go back a step again to the directory under tomcat you will get conf check the files here and you see this tomcat dash users dot xml we have to update this so open this tomcat dash users dot xml click enter and as you see this part is actually commented to make it quick we can just copy a portion of code for the role and username configuration here so i am going back to the script as i told you click on the raw scroll down a bit and we will add this user and role this role is manager dash gui which will allow us to open the tomcat manager app so let's go and pasting it here give me enter now i am going back here again to copy this role which is manager script and the username and password is deployed this role is required when you are trying to access your tomcat server from some external system suppose you have jenkins installed in a different virtual machine or in your local and you are trying to transfer your deployable to this tomcat server so that then this manager script role is required with a username and password so same time i'm just copying it here we have copied that again same way save this xml file now you have updated tomcat dash users dot xml with username password as well as role now let's go back to our tomcat portal and add the username and password click on manager tomcat paste the password click on sign in and we are in in the manager portal 
So today we have learned how to install Tomcat in AWS EC2 instance, how to configure and fix the restriction of 403 forbidden to access the manager console and how to add user with password and creating new role in configuration file. Thank you for watching this tutorial. See you in our next lecture. Thank you.